the president and CEO of the reigning National League champions. The Arizona Diamondbacks, Derek Hall, joins us uh, for his first visit of the year here on Bickley and Murata Mornings with Jody Jackson sitting in. Derek, good morning to you. Happy opening day. Hey, Derek. Hello, Vince. Hello, Jody. Happy opening day as well. It should be a holiday, as we all believe, and uh, I'm excited as can be. Yes. Um, Jody dropped a little tidbit of information saying that uh, Brandon Webb and Mark Grace might be actually in suits tonight for the uh, for the broadcast. Will you be yeah, wearing a, a suit? For, will you be wearing a suit for opening day? Not a chance. <laughs> no, you know what, Vince? Years they ago, they usually I do. Over, I don't know. Yeah, no, they do, and so do our baseball guys. But you know, years ago, I came over from the Dodgers, and our culture was to wear a suit over there every game. And and it took me a while to realize how ridiculous that is. And I was wearing a suit in my seat when I sat down low by the on deck circle, and this woman comes up to me. She goes, "Mr. Hall, can I tell you something?" I said, "Sure." She said, "You look like an idiot." I said, "Excuse me." She said, "It's 110 <laughs> degrees outside. You're wearing a suit. You're expecting us to wear this stuff and go buy it, and you don't wear it." And I said, that's a pretty good point. So from that day forward, we told everybody in the organization, no more, wear the logo, wear polos, wear pullovers, and that's uh, that's where we've been. And well, it's good. Well done. I, li- I like yeah. that stance. Um, <laughs> other big news going into opening day, and I know there were some fans that were getting a little antsy about the announcement of the linear TV fans? partners. How about me? Uh, <laughs> well, maybe you can give us a little insight. that The news came out last night, uh, kind of in the early hours today. Fear not. If you've got Cox Cable, you can watch it on Channel 34 in Phoenix, Channel 26 in Tucson, DirecTV 686, Fubo TV, and, of course, the streaming option with DBEX TV. You can take a deep breath now, but uh, how, how tense was, were those negotiations leading up to opening day, Derek? Evidently, extremely, and it was uh, we, we were at the mercy of MLB. I mean, Vince, it was, you know, MLB was negotiating, and to their credit, it does go down to the wire with the distributors, and it, it's to, you know, their benefit to wait until the last minute, they being the distributors. So we knew it was going to be last minute. I didn't know that last minute, so we were putting so much pressure, all three of us, the three teams, us, the Padres and Rockies, all night calling MLB saying, when can we put this out? We've been doing that for a couple of weeks, obviously, and I've had a lot of fans emailing me saying, why haven't you put out the, the channel, uh, you know, directives and where they're going to be and fortunately it did get out uh so we we, we're we're going to make sure everybody knows we will blink at the market and we had to do it last year too when we made that change you know around the all-star break over to mlb um we put put out quickly where all the channels would be and um i think we're in the same situation now but I, i believe me i wish we could have had it months ago and uh at least it's out before the opener as it should be Hey Derek, I mean this is this is a huge day every year, but to be the National League champs and everything that's going to go on this weekend, I mean what are you looking forward to most about tonight at the ballpark? Yeah, I'm you know, I'm excited about tonight. The opener's always great and and it's actually going to be a little bit of a buzzkill. I mean, you guys talked about the banner. I mean, we have icons that are out there and it's already been up there for the National League champions and and we're looking at changing those a bit, making them a little bit more glamorous and we'll 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 change it during the season, but you know, I, I think you've you got to love opening day with, the you know, the bunting. And, of course, we're going to have Kurt Warner throw out the first pitch to, to Randy Johnson, which is cool, Hall of Famer in one sport to a Hall of Famer in another. And, and just, the, the you know, the pageantry behind opening day. But what I'm really excited about is tomorrow night. That's where, really where we're going to focus on last season. We're going to, you know, celebrate the fact that we won the, the National League championship and we're going to give out the rings to the players and yep. coaches on the field. The first three we're going to give are, are two, Fitz, Amiel, and, and Hazen. And then we'll bring out Tori, the coaches, and the players. I believe the last ring we're going to give out will be uh, to Longo, and then we've asked him to throw out the first pitch, which he, you know, agreed oh, to cool. graciously. So I, I, I can't wait for tomorrow night. I gotta, I gotta follow up just with, uh, you know, the news of Jordan Montgomery, and I know, yeah. you know, Mike Hazen <laughs> couldn't comment, but maybe do you have any anything you can share on that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, you know, of course we're we're like you said earlier, Jody. It is pending a physical, as you know, but uh, we don't we don't anticipate any problems. It, it was a it was a good move for us. It was a wise move, and I think the situation that Jordan was in certainly played to to our advantage. And what an improvement that made to our rotation. I mean, you look when we are healthy, and and that rotation I think matches up really with any. Um, and we needed to make improvements based on last year when we were pitching bullpen games, and, and we knew that we had a little bit of a hole there, as well as our young kids are pitching and developing, and they're still going to be a big part of the opening of the season, and, and you know there's going to be injuries, knock on wood, there's not, but there will be, and they're going to play an important role as well, as long as and, and as in the form of long relief as well too. But I, I just think it made a lot of sense for us. There were a couple of pitchers that we were after on the trade front, 
and we would have had to say goodbye to way too many prospects, and it was way too rich of a move for us. So um, we thought the best I, – I, I think the best decision for us was then to pivot and look at who was remaining there in the free agent market and, and arguably the best player out there was still there. Yeah, and, and we're talking to Derek Hall, president and CEO of the D-backs here on opening day as he checks in with us on Arizona Sports. Uh, Jody and I were talking about it earlier. I mean, a shrewd move, yes, late in the game. This deal doesn't look like this if, if any team signs Jordan Montgomery in December. But I'm, I'm curious. I know he was on the radar, but how long was this in the works, if you don't mind a- answering that question, Derek? No, I don't. I mean, we've been talking about it and thinking about events for you know months, but we really waited till about the last week and, and got aggressive. And I think we sort of uh, snuck up on everybody. It was a sneak attack. I know there was a report earlier in the week that we were one of four or five teams mm-hmm. uh, in the mix, and everybody wrote us off and said, yeah, they probably inquired, but they're not going to you know a- acquire him. And um, it-, it does say a lot about him, too. I think he wanted to play for us. He made that known to us when we when we first inquired. Um, so knowing that Jordan wanted to be here was was certainly good news for us, and I think he's uh, he's landing in a very happy spot. And and he knows a lot about us, right? We all faced each other, and and he's a big reason, a huge reason why they won last year. He and Seager were so good, not only in the World Series but throughout the playoffs. Uh, Monday night we had a situation at, at Chase Field we haven't seen and <laughs> ever <laughs> uh, a rain out and yeah. I know the roof was open and I know the the forecast didn't exactly call for rain of that magnitude but um, what has been the aftermath of that and I know Tori made some jokes about it and you know how how would that have been different how much more damaging would that have been had it been a regular season game or would the roof have even been open in that situation Derek uh, great question I think the roof still would have been open because it was such a clean forecast uh, but I think we would have handled it differently. I don't think it would have been a quick, you know, call of the game. Yeah. Uh, we had we had had a complete game in, or a full game in because we were past five innings. We were in the sixth. But I think there would have been a delay. We probably would have uh, dried out the infield a little bit and resumed the game at some point because it was a quick micro blast. But or micro burst. But I, I I think baseball now is concerned about it because we have had yeah. some funky weather the last couple of weeks where it's clear all day and then at night something strange has happened and we've had a little bit of rainfall. So they're worried about tonight too and they're asking us to consider closing the roof. But again, I'm looking at the forecast and, and I just cannot I, I, I just can't envision us closing the roof it's going to be a beautiful night you know we're going to have a flyover there there's so many reasons on opening day with a jam-packed house to have the roof open and this ballpark looks so good when the roof and the door panels are open i i'm i'm battling this one but we're going to meet today a couple of times and uh i'm leaning heavily towards having it open and keeping my fingers crossed and and that we don't have issues but um not being able to close the roof now just shows you what a challenge it is and why we have to to fix this roof if we know we're going to be here and the plan is to fix it in this off season meteor Meteorologist is on your list of uh, duties as well, yeah. apparently, Derek. Uh, <laughs> no doubt, Jody. I, I will say, the, it was so cool the other night. Christian hit a home run. Christian Walker, Alec Thomas. I love the new lights and all that. Just don't do like the Dodgers and shut the lights out while everybody's actually playing ball. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, it, it does make it. And, and you heard, you know, the crowd really reacted once those lights went off during, after the home run. It was really cool. So that, that was the first glimpse they had of it. And, you know, we've, we've created some videos. We had one for, for Paul Seawald when he entered and hopefully that'll be soon um you know and and we've given our, at least our employees and at evening on the diamond all of our supporters we showed them what that would look like a little sneak peek and mm-hmm. the reaction's been so positive these lights are amazing the new sound system is really good uh, again we don't want to be the dodgers where it's too loud but uh you know i think it's going to really okay. improve the in-game experience I like the I like the booming speaker out there. I know well, Steve and Bob it, don't love it, but I, I like the Death Star. Whatever you're that is, you're gonna get it. Yeah, and, and may the lights go off a ton this this season, Derek. Oh, amen. <laughs> Derek, great to uh, talk to you. Looking forward to having you on weekly again uh, this year as the uh, reigning National League champions. And best of luck Thank with everything you, today. And when you say reigning, you don't mean R A I N I N G, right? Ah, oh, I see what you did right. there. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you guys next week. Jody, great to talk to you. Thanks, right. Derek. Derek okay. Hall, president and CEO, a weekly guest of uh, Bickley and Murata Mornings again for the 2024 season. He checked in on the Arizona Sports Line. Thanks for watching Bickley and Murata. Click to see the latest Bickley Blast and hit the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.